Let's take a look at the modified problem from the Purple Comet Math Meet 2017, which is to evaluate the 6th root of 26 plus 15 root 3 minus the 6th root of 26 minus 15 root 3. Pause the video, give a try, and resume when you're ready. To make things easier, I'm going to let A be this part and B be this part. And I'm going to form a few equations about a and b. The first one is about a to the 6 and b to the 6 because a and b are both 6 roots. So a to the 6 plus b to the 6 will cancel out the 6 root signs. Now when they are added together it is actually 52 because 2 times 26 equals 52 and the root 3 is cancelled out. Next I'm going to talk about the product. a times b even the 6 groups are placed together, when they multiply, the terms inside 26 plus or minus root 3 plus or minus 15 times root 3, the product is 1. So when it is taken 6 root, it's still 1. And of course, I have to find the value of a minus b. From our first equation, we can say that the left hand side can be factorized into a squared plus b squared times a to the 4 minus a squared b squared plus b to the 4 equals 52. And I can rewrite the second part as adding 2a squared b squared instead and subtracting by 3a squared b squared at the end. So then we will have a squared plus b squared times itself whole squared minus 3. Not 3a squared b squared, but just 3. Because we know that the product of a and b is 1. So I can simplify that a bit. Now I'll have a squared plus b squared whole cubed minus 3 times a squared plus b squared minus 52 equals 0. By letting x equals a squared plus b squared, then we'll have a cubic equation about x, which is x cubed minus 3x minus 52 equals 0. Now to solve cubic equations, we can try some numbers and to um, try to get some factors. By putting x equals 4, you will get 0. So by factor theorem, I can say that x minus 4 is a factor. In fact, 4 cubed minus 3 times 4 minus 52 equals 0. So I can say that x minus 4 is a factor. So x squared plus 4x plus 13 equals 0. So either we have x equals 4 or x plus 2 whole squared plus 9 equals 0 and we know that for this part there is no solution so that means a squared plus b squared equals to 4 and to go a bit further I'm aim I was aiming to find the value of a minus b and now I have values on degree things which have degree 2. So I've decided to find a minus b whole squared instead. Now indeed, a minus b whole squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And that's a squared plus b squared, which is 4, minus 2 times 1. So that's 2. And that means a minus b whole squared equals to 2. And notice that because a is larger than b, so a minus b is positive, so it must take a positive square root. And so required value is exactly square root of 2. This is our final answer.